Assalamu alaikum. We have a very special episode of Afghan Cooks. And if you think I'm moving fast right now, I am because today we're going to have boom, 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 the Afghan version of chopped. Tuk tuk. That's right. It's the tuk tuk challenge. I've got three rounds appetizer, main, and dessert. Three baskets chosen by the men in the family. They went out to the store today. And we're gonna see what I come up with. You have 20 minutes for the first round, 30 minutes for the second, and 30 minutes for the third round. If it's terrible, they still have to eat it and they've been fasting all day. So let's get started. Should I open the basket? Open the basket! Yeah. I'm gonna open the basket. And in the basket I have, some frozen shrimp, some mandarin oranges, mashed potatoes, and pretzel dogs. All right, I guess you guys are gonna tell me when my time starts, huh? To do. <laughs> what are you do with the oranges? Give you 20 minutes, so it's now. Mm, junk. Okay. First thing I'm gonna do is I am going to defrost this shrimp. Oh, packaging is always my nemesis. Woo! <laughs> Why packaging? Why? I'm gonna run that under some water. I'm gonna see what. Is going on with these? I don't. I don't think I've ever cooked mashed potatoes. Two cups of water to a medium-sized saucepan. I don't know why I've never had these before. Make mashed potatoes. It'd be interesting to see if she sticks to the originality requirement of the exercise. You mean creativity? Okay, well, I come over here. All right, I think I got an idea. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to remove the hot dog from the, and I'm gonna wrap the shrimp and the mashed potato inside of these and then fry them up. What about the oranges? I'll get to that. I'm gonna make a dipping sauce. Oh, uh, very interesting. Now we've got a season. Oh, you know what I can do with the oranges? I can make a drink. Chef, what are you thinking about? I am thinking that this is a ridiculous thing. And we're gonna throw some salt on the shrimp, some turmeric, cumin, cause it is Afghan cooked. Dill in there, coriander. Potatoes already have cheese in them. I think that this is gonna need something to give it a little bit. We make a, a, a drink with the oranges, but it needs some sort of sauce. So I've gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with it for a sauce. What else I'm gonna throw in here? I'm gonna coat it. Really seems like you're cutting it close. You're already down to 12 minutes and 45 seconds. I got this. I know there's gonna be snow flurries today. Now what are you trying to do there with that shrimp batter? I'm just trying to get it so that maybe it'll crisp up because it's a little bit wet right now. I'm going to have to make some sort of a dipping sauce. I think I'll make like a spicy ketchup. I hope I do it, guys. Otherwise you guys are not gonna eat. That's how the rules work, right? All right, we're gonna see how this works out. Ooh, that's still very hot! Mark. Well, it's holding together, which is all I really wanted to have happen. Oh my God, it's a, I've only got nine minutes left. I'll let that cook, I'm gonna do a couple more over here. So you're putting shrimp and mashed potatoes inside them and then frying them? Nope, I'm putting the mashed potatoes on the outside. <laughs> it's so hot! I do took chuck. Do we have any sparkling water out in the garage? What are you making with it? A drink. Can you get me a sparkling water, please? Do Afghans make fruity, uh, tasty drinks? We do. We usually have more than 20 minutes to make everything, though. Oh my god. Two minutes and 30 seconds. 
It's impossible to talk. How do those people? Oh, that's why they use yeah. voiceovers. Well, Into the plate. You gotta get those plates. You only got me one? Oh, there's the broquettes. Get it on the plate. What is in this bottle? Uh, that's Ro Abza. It's an orange syrup. I mean, a, a rose syrup. Rose syrup to mix with the oh, the orange. Super refreshing. Ten, nine, eight, sugar. Seven, six. Where's our ketchup? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Hands up. <laughs> Chefs, tonight I have prepared for you a broquette of shrimp with a potato smash coating. Drink to go with it because it's a pretty heavy uh, appetizer and the drink is oranges with sparkling water and rose syrup. What? <laughs> it's it's, it's shrimp raw. Is totally raw. <laughs> right here in front of me now, eat this. The you outside know, is very tasty. Okay, the shrimp is pretty good. I can see on uh, Chef Yak's plate that it is, uh, there's a lot of grease on it. Uh, can you explain what happened? Um, well, I, as you could see from the video, I was uh, running out of time. The shrimp is good. The ranch was not very good. It's actually very bad. Um, this one here? A flat piece of a... Uh, okay, can you show it on the video? Sure. So. This is a flat piece of... Uh, what is this, mashed potatoes? Yes. Um, not very uh, appetizing looking. The drink was cool and refreshing and very tasty. The drink was decent. It is very uh, basic. It does this pretty much tastes like, uh, you know, orange and sparkling water. You go off stage while the judges make a decision. <laughs> I won? Just think you won that first round. Oh my god! You did use all of the ingredients. We found that it was interesting that you used them for two different things, considering the time limit that you had. It was unfortunate that you had some challenges with undercooked shrimp. We thought it was very creative and you did a good job. Thank you. You're now on to the entree round. If this show were to offer $10,000 to the winner, what would you use that money on? Well, I would really like to go to Afghanistan and travel and take photographs and compile a cookbook with uh, stories from the women who um, are the providers of food for their families in my motherland. So, tuk tuk, let's go. Radza, shurai pawaka. Zan bai dwarta amadakam. Zan bai dwarta amadakam. Bai yunuki sport wakam. Chit zan dwarta amadakam. Open the basket! Chicken thighs, boneless, skinless. Fried dill pickle potato chips. Celery wasabi mustard. a little chili powder in there. I keep forgetting I'm not necessarily trying to make everything Afghan, but we can't help ourselves. We always have to make something a little bit Afghan. Tomato paste, where's my tomato paste? Pickles, so we'll have to see how those, how those work out. I'm gonna add the chicken. Just turn that down a little bit so that can cook while I get my my celery salad. Have you had a lot of experience boiling noodles? Uh, <laughs> just a little bit. You know what? Before I start my celery salad, I'm gonna get my you're in my way. You're in my way. We'll see how this goes. Um, the only thing that I'm concerned about is that I don't want it to be too salty because. You know, I added salt to the food, and the potato chips are really salty. Please, that's not feeding anybody raw chicken. Please.
please help me. <laughs> Throw some heavy cream in there. Potato chips. Salt. And it needs a little more depth of flavor. It's a little one dimensional. There it is. So. I definitely don't want my pasta to be overcooked. Gonna get that celery started. Judge Drew makes a good point. Perfectly al dente. You've got to get out of my face. Some parsley and some cilantro. I'm just gonna chop some of this up for some freshness in the salad. You gotta get the. Uh, Oh, the potato chips are in the actual sauce, so the sauce is thickened by the potato chips. I and I think that they add a little bit of um, sour taste as well. They're thickening me, Chef Drew. What do you have to say about the pasta dish? It's good. I just thought that it was a little bit sticky, but it maybe from the start from the from the uh, potato. Chips. Is it thick or is it sticky? I, I understand, Chef. Your your judgment is. Um, holds, you know, I hold it in the highest esteem. And you're really smart, yet it's not on the map. Hmm. I'm picking up your sarcasm. Well, I should hope so, because I'm laying it on pretty thick. Is that cooked? But, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's cooked. Yeah. It's a rare episode with the judges get trash house. Um, Chef Drew, what do you what do you think about the pasta? It's delicious. There's a little bit of a stickiness to it, but I don't, and I don't know what it's from. I don't know if it's from. It might be probably from the starch from the potato. I think I may have gone overboard with it when it um, when I ground it up. It didn't look like there was that much, so I went back a second time and added more potato chip. So I probably would have had enough the first time. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Chef Jonas. Um, I think that I think that it is very good. It's very interesting taste. Especially with the um, with the salad. The salad also like has like a little wasabi taste in the front of it, and then, like tastes like a salad. And you can taste the the vinegar or whatever dressing you put on it. The pasta is very good. Thank you, Chef Jonas. Chef Jakob. Tastes good with the potatoes. Come here, come back. <laughs> <laughs> chopped. Not chopped. Not chopped. You are not chopped. No. I'm not chuk chuk. You you are, you are not chopped. I'm not chuk chuk. Torter torter. I've been saying the wrong word the whole time. I don't know how people do this in real life on Chopped. Kudos to you guys. I always stand there and I judge you. I'm tired. This is exhausting. Open your basket. Mangoes. Really? You guys are the worst. Mayoracha. <laughs> Marshmallow pies. Pineapple Fanta. <laughs> they would serve you right, Mr. Sriracha guy. So I'm going to make a uh, cookie, um, and I'm taking the chocolate part off of the cookie, and I'm going to use it in the actual cookie. The temperature do you think could be like that? Uh, 350. The marshmallow slider. I know it's Okay. Okay, that's not melting at all. But hopefully it will. Okay, Are there we go. The composition of those marshmallow patties? I, I have no idea. Um, I, but I'm a little bit. I want to. They're starting to stick to the bottom too. So I want them. I just want to turn the heat down. And I'm 
I'm just adding eggs. So you're using the sriracha mayo? Yes. I, why? I cannot believe I just did that. I can tell you I've never even considered putting mayonnaise into my... What have you got over there? I've got some mangoes. I'm gonna throw some Fanta in it, and I think I have some coconut. Make a little fresh whipped cream. So we've got the chocolate cookie with um, seven minutes. Seven, seven, seven minutes. minutes. The cookies are out. How do you feel about these? I think they look pretty good. I hope they don't collapse. I feel like that's, this has turned out interesting, hasn't it? You can do it! Yeah, it's, a, it's exactly what I, would, I wanted it to do. Okay. So, I'm, um, I'm fairly pleased with it, and I think I may even have enough time to do a better job of plating this time around. Chefs, today I have made for you for dessert a cookie um, with mm. two dipping sauces. The cookie is made with the outside of the marshmallow cake. I use the chocolate and then just a, a regular cookie dough. In my sauce, the first sauce, I used the um, pineapple Fanta, the sriracha mayonnaise, along with some white chocolate and some cream. And I also made a mango pineapple Fanta whipped cream mm. for you to dip the cookie in. It's very delicious. Yeah. You can definitely taste the uh, the marshmallowy cake in the cookie. Yeah, it's uh, pretty good. Which one do you like better, this cream or the other one? Uh, the cream. How is the uh, the Fanta and the? I also use the marshmallow of the inside of the cake for the mayracha dipping sauce. And, and how does the sriracha mayonnaise taste in that dip? that dipping sauce. That's good and it's a little bit spicy. You can uh, taste a little bit of spice in there. It's kind of weird. Do you like it? Is it something that you would want to have again? No. No? I, I think I think the, the mayo sriracha just, uh, it did, I mean, that was a hard ingredient, but it just wasn't. I definitely prefer the pineapple mango cream. That is very, very creamy and very fruity. Yeah. But not too sweet and goes really well with the cookie. The other one, mm, Chefs, it was a very difficult ingredient, the, the mayo sriracha. Indeed. To work with. Um, so, but, but thank you for your feedback. All right, chefs, do we have a final decision? Um, you are, uh, you're not chopped. Oh, yay! Thank you so much. Thank you. It would have been really embarrassing if I was chopped, being the only contestant oh, sorry, on the show. Were chopped. What? Why? I, I, just, I mean, you, you weren't chopped. <laughs> If you like this video, which I know is a little bit wacky, um, give it a thumbs up. Please hit the notification icon so that you know next time we have a video. Subscribe, it lets us know that you like what we're doing. Please join us for more of our Ramadan vlogs. We're not doing traditional recipes this month because we want to give you a lot more content um, and to kind of show you how we celebrate Ramadan. Bye.